Girl Miss Cinnamon Spice. And today I'm gonna be reviewing a synthetic wig. Now this is a 13 by six lace. It's an undetectable hairline and it is um, natural density. So if you guys want to check out this video, please, please continue watching. If you have not already, make sure you guys go subscribe to my channel. Make sure you like, share, and comment. I told you guys today's hair is a synthetic wig. This hair is from the company hairstylegalore.com. So it's their website and they're also on Amazon. So the hair comes in this little cute satin bag here that sis can keep, you know, and reuse for something else. <laughs> and I'm gonna, gonna take it out of here. And the hair comes in this hair knot, hair net here. And then it has like a little label on the bag that says hair for every occasion, hairstylesgalore.com. I'm gonna take it out of the hair net. And take out the tissue paper. And this is how the wig looks right now, straight out of the bag. So this is how it looks. It has like this um, tight curl pattern here. And this is a jet black wig. I think it's like 1B if I'm not mistaken. Um, and then I'll show you guys how the lace looks. So this is how the lace looks. Now, for my synthetic wigs, because I don't wear them like 24-7, I don't really take the time out to, um, to tint the lace. I just kind of work with whatever I got. But anyways, this is how the wig looks. Um, it looks like it does possibly have baby hairs already here. You can kind of see some extra strands hanging out. And I'm going to show you guys how the wig looks on the inside. So on the inside of the wig, we have a comb here, a comb here, and one comb here at the bottom. And the wig also comes with the adjustable straps. So that is how the um, wig is constructed on the inside. And as you guys can see, this is also an ear to ear lace. What I'm gonna do is go ahead and try this wig on straight out the bag just to kind of see what it's looking like on me. And because I haven't tried it on yet. <laughs> so. so, this is how the wig looks once I put it on and I haven't done anything to it um, straight out of the bag. So, I will say I do like the curl pattern that it has going here. Um, I feel like when I brush this out, it's going to be super, super pretty. You can, can you part it anywhere? Yeah, it looks like you can part it anywhere, guys, too. So, if you see that, yeah, wow, that's cool. Yep, you can kind of part it in different ways. You can do like a middle part, or you can do like a side part. You know, you can do whatever kind of style that you want to do. It looks like um, it has enough space for you to be a side part or a middle part, or you know, I guess if you wanted to do a half up, half down, or you know, bun, I don't know. It's a lot of probably different styles that you can possibly do. I do like the fact that you can part it um each way but what i'm going to do because i can't just walk around like this all day <laughs> i'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to make your synthetic wigs look a little bit more natural so as you guys can see with this synthetic wig it has like a, a shine to it and i don't really care for that so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna teach you a trick of how to get rid of that shine and how to kind of slay your entire um synthetic wig so right now I'm going to go cut my lace and I will let you guys come and watch me cut my lace I'm gonna glue my baby da hairs down and then we're gonna work on the technique of getting rid of this shine okay so first um, I have my hair in a ponytail now I am going to um, make sure I take my lace and just browning it up because obviously this I can part this wig anywhere so I just kind of want to make this look uh, like a real scalp here. Hair completely down. And I guess this method is supposed to be better because it cuts the lace in a rigid um, cut since it has like the rigid um, the rigidness on here so it doesn't cut your hair 
doesn't cut the lace in a straight line. So let's see how that works out. Now my lace is cut. So what I'm going to do now with my alcohol is wipe away any makeup that I have on my head. And I do have some on here because I was like, oh, I'm gonna do a video. Then I was like, no, I'm not, I'll do this later. But I decided to go ahead and just knock it out now. So I'm just wiping away that makeup here so that my lace can stick properly. Okay, so once we have our lace glued down, I am going to check and see if this wig comes with baby hairs. And it does have little baby hairs. If not, you just pull the baby hairs out. Like, you just pull little strands closest to the edge of the lace out. Okay, so now that I have my baby hair pulled out, what I'm gonna do is take my Tresemme mousse and I'm going to be styling it. how I want for this particular wig.
I decided to go and get my ring light so we can have some extra lighting in here. So what I'm going to do now is the makeup that I had originally taken off my forehead, I'm going to put that back on there. Okay, that same makeup that I just used to put on my face, which is my Maybelline foundation in the color Mocha. Taking that and just putting like a dab of that on my lace. So I just put it on like a little makeup brush and I'm just gonna be dabbing it um, on my lace front here parts that's showing. So now that's how my lace looks for this particular um, style that I'm going to be wearing. This is how I decided to do my baby hairs. Now that you have your baby hairs done and you have this synthetic wig that looks like super shiny and just like, I don't know, like just super, super shiny and you don't like the look, it looks kind of fake and not natural. There is a trick that you can do to kind of get it to look a little bit more natural. And that trick is baby powder baby powder this baby powder costs a dollar from the dollar tree it doesn't matter what kind of baby powder um but this is the baby powder that i am going to be using here so what i'm going to do is i am going to be sprinkling <laughs> baby powder in my hair um it sounds really weird but what the baby powder is going to do is when you put it on there it's going to give it this kind of powdery look right so you know when you put powder on it makes you look all ashy or something like that and this is what it's gonna do with this hair. It's gonna tone down the shininess of the hair because I personally don't like when my wig, um, synthetic wigs look this um, synthetic. <laughs> I'm gonna do a side-by-side -side view and I'm not gonna do one side and do the other side so you can see the difference. So I'm gonna be taking some baby powder. Wait, I got it on the like highest whole level it can be on, which I don't think that's smart, so. Let me just put it on light sprinkle. The baby powder side, and this is not baby powder. So then you're supposed to just take your then you take your brush or comb or whatever and kind of comb it through and just rub it through the hair. So this is the side that I put baby powder on and this is the side that I didn't. I don't know if you guys can tell the difference, but I can tell a huge difference of how it looks. This does look a little less shiny than this side. And if you hold this up and you compare it to, let me see, these ends compared to these ends, you can kind of see how silky these ends are compared. And you can just look and tell the difference. So. Yeah, I just feel like the baby powder really brings a little bit more life to the wig instead of it looking like super, super synthetic, which I don't like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I am going to add baby powder to this side as well. Okay guys, so now I'm going to go ahead and go style the wig how I want it and I'll be back to finish giving you guys a review. Okay guys, so I am back. I did just go and style my hair. You know, how did, how did your girl do? <laughs> but anyways, I did just go and finish and style this wig. Um, I decided to switch shirts and put on a lighter color shirt so you guys can actually see the length of the hair and actually see the hair because I did have on a black shirt. I feel like 
it just blended in with the black shirt and you guys didn't get to see. So um, the wig is 18 inches and actually if you kind of pull it down from the curl, it's probably a little bit longer than that. I will say like, at first I was like, dang, you know, how am I gonna make this synthetic wig look not synthetic? And then I was like, okay, whatever, this is what I'm gonna do and I want to share with you guys. Hopefully this helps you guys with your synthetic wigs to get them looking a little bit more natural. Um, so what I did like about the wig is I like the curl pattern that it had because I knew when I brushed it out that it was gonna be like real pretty and like fluffy and loose looking. So I did like that. I like the length of the wig. I like the lace. It was a soft lace and it just laid down perfectly with the got to be glue. Um, I believe the hair did have baby hairs. Like I truly feel like this had baby hairs just because like I was pulling out the pieces and it was shorter than what the normal hair normal hair was. But I don't think it listed on there that it was baby hairs included. But I will say that um, I didn't have to like cut or do anything extra. I just literally pulled out um, the hair closest to the hairline and this. Okay, I just pulled out the hair closest to the hairline and I was able to swoop them up into baby hairs and that just did like amazing. Like some synthetic wigs, baby hairs really are so hard. What the heck? Got it. Some synthetic wigs, baby hairs are like so hard to tame and to play around with, but this was like super, super easy with the mousse and it got to be glue. It just laid down perfectly. I like the fact that the wig did come with adjustable straps because you guys know I like to secure my wig like super tight. I like the fact that the wig did come with three combs as well. This wig is big head friendly because I swear I have a big head, like I feel like I do. So this wig is big head friendly. It did not have a smell or anything when I took it out of the bag. Um, I like that you can part it. Pretty much, it's like a free parting space up here. Like, you can part it in the middle, you can part it on the sides, and do like a deep part, and everything like that. So I do like the fact that you can do that. What are the pros about it? What I did not like about it, but it is an easy fix, is that it looks super, 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 super shiny. To my liking, it was too shiny. And the good thing about that is baby powder can save your lysis. Go ahead and sprinkle that baby powder all over your wig, <laughs> and blend it in really good, and brush it out, and comb it and you'll have a less light, a less uh, silkier and plastic kind of looking wig. So you can go ahead and slay your synthetic wig just like I'm slaying my synthetic wig right now. Um, that's the only thing I think I kind of didn't like about it was the fact that it was like super, super shiny, but I'm glad that this wig was super shiny because it gave me the opportunity to do a video about how to make your um, lace front synthetic wig look um, more natural anyways. Um, when I first got the hair, I was like, yeah, this is what I'm gonna do with this um, wig. This video is gonna be talking about how to slay your synthetic wig because this has so much potential in it. I was like, I can't, I cannot not do this video for this wig, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, I think that's the only thing I didn't like about the hair. Other than that, I mean, that was an easy fix, so that really didn't even matter as well. The hair came super quick and on time. You can go visit Hairstyle Galore on Instagram, and you can go check them out on, the, on their website, and also go visit them on Amazon and purchase your wigs list, you know? Use my tips that I just showed you guys how to get your hair to look more natural, and I think that you'll be okay. Um, what I wanted to talk about, though, um, people expect, like, especially like the generation and the society that we live in right now, you have all these Instagram models and all these people in your town and city that are like the popular people or whatever you want to call it, and they go out and buy these five, six, seven hundred, eight thousand dollar wigs, you know, and I'm not saying anything's wrong with that because I spent some money on a good wig. No, I haven't. I'm lying. I'm so lying. The most I've spent out of pocket on a wig is like one, maybe like 190, almost 200, I think. And that was on that Jessica's hair uh, review video that I did. That's the most I spent, and that's probably the most I will spend, just because I know how to finesse my wigs. Anyways, um, I want the young women out there and um, with all my Spice Girls and my Spice Guys out there to so don't feel discouraged for wearing a synthetic wig and deciding to spend like $40 or 30 20 or $100 on a wig, like there's nothing wrong with that because if you can get it to look like this and to slay it, people wouldn't even really know the difference unless you told them. You know what I'm saying? Like, we all know synthetic wigs don't last forever. Of course, this style is not gonna probably last a month, if, if, if a couple weeks. 
you know, it's probably gonna get tangled and anything like that. That's what happens with synthetic wigs. And people put too much pressure on you thinking like, like maybe you feel like you have to go buy this like $500 wig. You don't. You don't. Yeah, you'll come out probably spending almost 500 in a month buying synthetic wigs, but if you know how to like slay your synthetic wigs and you just keep practicing and practicing and practicing, then you won't have to worry about spending so many, so much money on having, um, buying multiple synthetic wigs. Like I used to do that because I didn't know how to slay them. Now that I know how to slay them and you don't sleep in them and you take them off right away, then you'll be good. You can make your synthetic, synthetic wig last forever. I didn't told you guys, I got wigs that are like, months and months old that are synthetic and I put them on and they still last because I'm not wearing them 24 seven. Like that's a tip right there. But yeah, I just, my channel was based around just like every type of person. Like I'm not sit up here and just doing a video all on synthetic wigs or doing videos all on natural hair wigs. This channel is for everybody. So I do a little bit of both just to make everybody that rocks with me happy. You know what I'm saying? Like. I don't always have like um, $500 to go buy a wig. I mean, I don't. First of all, I have two boys that are getting old and getting more expensive. <laughs> I'm in college. I have one, two, two businesses. Another business about to start. Like it's a lot of stuff that I have going on that I can't always go and spend $500 on a wig. I'm just, I just can't. And I probably won't, like honestly, I don't know. I can probably think of so many other things to do. But I'm not judging anybody who spends that money on a wig because I haven't did it doesn't mean that something's wrong with it or because you haven't did it doesn't mean something's wrong with it. So I'm not calling out all the girls who can afford that. I'm just saying that for the ones who can't, don't feel like, you know, you're less of a person or you're less of someone and compare yourself to the girl who can. Because sometimes the synthetic or the cheaper wigs be slaying, y'all be slaying the hell out of those wigs. And people can't even tell that they're what they are. So I just wanted to put that message out there. Um, you know, my channel might one day go up there and I might have a $500 wig. I'm, I'm not saying that I won't. I'm just saying that just stop talking about the girls who can't afford those because you was there too, so it's like you've been there too, where you couldn't afford that type of wig. And I don't think that's cool that people make fun of girls for wearing synthetic wigs. Especially when you can slay your shit like I just did. So. Hmm. Okay, so um, I'm gonna go ahead and just turn around and give you guys the 360 view so you can see how this wig looks before I go ahead and um, finish the video. Okay, so I just want to show you guys how the wig looks all the way around. Um, so yeah, shout out to Hairstyle Galore for this wig. Um, if you guys want purchases, like I said, make sure you guys go check out their website, check that out, check them out on Amazon and check out their Instagram page. I will leave all of the details of where you can purchase this wig and all of the, um, information about this wig down below. Let me know how you think I did with this synthetic wig. Um, other than that, I want you guys to have a great, awesome, productive day. And thank you for being a part of the Spice Girl and the Spice Guy team. And if you're not, thank you for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe and make sure you join the Spice Girl and Spice Guy team. Peace.